Hello and welcome to IT Security Labs and today we're completing Anthem from TryHackMe. This is a Windows machine and we want to make sure that we practice as many Windows machines as possible. So this is going to be one of those. As you can see here it says these tasks involve you paying attention to details and finding keys to the castle. So probably some enumeration happening here. This room is designed for beginners however everyone is welcome to try it. So okay may take up to five minutes so i already started it all right so starting with nmap we say nmap sv service version service script no ping because this thing will not work without with ping and i'm saying vv to show me this in real time i see that with 3389 which is rdp then port 80 which is hopefully a website so let's go and check it out all right it's trying to load there Run nmap, check what ports are open. So we did that. We're checking right now. What port is website running on? I believe that's 80. We saw that 80. What port is remote ze desktop service? That's 3389. What is a po possible password in one of the pages crawlers check for? Um, the page that crawlers check for is robots.txt. So while it's trying to load the website, let's check to see here. Here's an SSL cert for 3389. Okay, so we'll try that. Okay, just two ports. Okay, let's see if RDP works. So this is going to be 10.10.200.153. We don't have a username and password yet, so I'm just going to put Vagrant in Vagrant just to see if it actually works. XRDP, that's the tool that I use. So here we say, let's connect to this machine using user Vagrant, password Vagrant, and the certificate. I know this probably doesn't work, but I want to see if it tries. Okay, so we just need to see if we can find the username and password. Was it's actually failing? Was it's login failure? Now in the background here, I see that the website loaded. Okay, so here's a Anthem website. Uh, when I see a website, I'm trying to see what kind of software is it running on. Uh, this is 2023, all right, received. So I guess, is this WordPress? We don't know yet. So let's see if we can check whatever they were asking for. What is possible password in the place where web crawlers look for? That's roku.txt, I mean, robots.txt. That's where web crawlers would check. And I guess this is a password. All right, this allows some of these as well. We we'll just see a password somewhere. Classic CTF, this one happened in the real world. What CMS is, is the website using? Or well, according to here, it's Umbraco. I've seen this CMS several times in the CTFs. That's how I know that it's Umbraco. What domain, what is the domain of the website? Let's see if there's any contacts or some information somewhere that tells us what the domain is. So usually, if there's email addresses, we'll be able to tell. Oh, it's right here, anthem.com. What is the name of the administrator? Okay, that's going to be interesting. So we're currently hiring. Let's read this article. Jane Doe. Is that the administrator? If you... If you have any interest in being part of the movement, send me your CV at JD. Is this the administrator? Jendo? Oh no, this doesn't look like Jendo here. Why can Jendo show me? Oh, okay. Why am I? This is a flag. I don't know where it goes. Okay, let's see. Where does it... We just found a flag here. Is it flag one? Is it flag two? Is it flag three? It is to be some flag somewhere. Okay, it's flag three. We found flag three by accident. Okay, let's read this article. Now going back. Cheers to our IT man. During the hard times, something like that. Okay, during hard times, our beloved admin managed to save our business by redesigning the entire website. Always, oh, you know why, how much we love writing poem. I decided to write him. Oh, okay. After a while, I found out that if you just copy this, and put it in Google, you notice that it was written by this Solomon Randy. So that should be the administrator. 
This is the part of the CTFs that I don't like. The guesswork is annoying. Like, how realistic is that? That I'll find a poem. But this is CTF, so we'll move on. Okay, so we saw Jane's email was J JD at something. Found out this, this is Jane Doe's email address. So this is going to be SG. Because that's, their, that's how they're creating their email addresses. So this makes sense. People, you can guess based on what you see out there. Okay. Our beloved admin left some flags behind that require other information. Proceed to the next task. So we saw this on the website, flag three. So these ones, one and two, where could they be? Uh, what is the hint? Inspect pages yet. Okay, so it's, they're in the page source. Look for the word flag. Actually, flag starts with try and hack me. So here's one. So we need to check the page source. Problem is, we don't know if that's one or more. Okay, flag two. Let's check. Uh, is that the only one? Or oh, I guess here's another one. All right. What about flag four? I bet you it's somewhere again. Let's look in the hint. Yeah, it's somewhere. We need to inspect all the other pages. Okay, so for the first flag, we haven't checked the source code for where we found the poem where it says cheers, cheers to our IT department. So let's see. Can we check the page source for this? Oh, here is another one. Yeah, that doesn't look like anything we have found. So ch check all the page sources. And we find all the flags. Then here is the final stage. Let's figure out the username and password to log in to the box. Box is not on a domain. Okay. So we found an email address. We found that it's running RDP. We found a password. So let's just go and try R RDP. So using the same syntax here, the username is JD. They said it's not part of the domain. So, uh, no, it's not JD. SG. And the password is this. Give it a try. SG. And then let's try to sign in. If everything works, XRDP should sign in. There we go. So that's good. What I didn't explain here is that we're saying xfreeRDP sign into this machine using this user and that's password. Ignore the certificate, allow the clipboard to be there and do a dynamic resolution so we don't have to worry about the resolution. So if I maximize this, it actually should sign uh, auto resize. And here's our user.txt. So let's open it. That's fine. Let's get our flag first. My copy paste should be working. Now, can we spot the admin password? Uh, it's hidden. Okay. So, where is the admin password? I'm going to open File Explorer. So, let's show hidden files. We can do this from the command line as well. Probably easier and faster. But, if we go to View, there's a box here we can say Check Hidden Files. Now, let's list the contents of C. All right, here is a hidden folder. You can tell because it's kind of light and it's called backup. And here is restore. So we should be able to see the admin password in there. Uh, you do not have permission. Okay. Did it still open though? No. We don't have permission. Well, who does? Let's check. Right click and go to properties. Maybe we need to escalate our privileges and as somebody. Security. Edit permissions. We can edit. Can we add ourselves? SG. Allow to everything. It should tell us. Okay. <laughs> I guess we can. 
So the moral of the story is we can give ourselves permission. And here is the password for the administrator. So I'm going to do something. Sometimes administrators are not allowed to sign in remotely. You have to let them. There is a command you can change, but for now, let's see if, okay, instead of SG, is it admin or administrator? Let's see. Seems to be working. All right, here is the administrator, and I see root.txt over there. So let's give them the administrator's password first, and then the final flag, which is on the desktop right here. All right, so here's our final flag. All right, so that was a very easy machine from TryHackMe called Anthem. I hope you learned something about interacting with Windows here. If you like this, please remember to like, subscribe, share this video with everybody. Otherwise, thanks for being here and I'll see you next time.